News Papers Review today, 17th of May 2015. We start from Sunday Observer. U.S. slots here last week. Stolen assets prop begins in U.S. The unearthing of possibly billions of rupees worth of assets simpon off from Sri Lanka and stashed away in United States of America begins with the return of the high-powered U.S. investigative team that was in Colombo last week. A team of U.S. prosecutors and investigators was in the country to assist their Sri Lankan counterparts to trace and recover the stolen assets stashed in financial institutions in the United States. Next headline, criminal charges against Gota, MIG deal, Avantgarde, Lanka Hospitals Limited, Lanka Logistic and Technologies Limited. Criminal charges are to be filed against former Defence Secretary Gota Paya Rajapaksha for floating government tender procedure and for the purchase of four MIG-27 Flagedy fighter bomber aircraft in 2006 at a staggering 14.676 million US dollar for failure of duty and causing loss to the state in its capacity as a chief accounting officer of the Ministry of Defence. The agreement was entered into without a performance bond and the vital end user certificate are the main charges after a technical evaluation committee ruled against the purchase in 2000. Next headline, AG's report on floating armory to Navy chief. The Attorney General Department has not yet instructed the Criminal Investigation Department on the step to be taken based on the completed report of the probe into the illegal marine security venture by Rakna Araksha Lanka and the avant-garde security services. Red question on the reasons of the delay, Deputy Minister of Justice Sujiva Sera Singh said that he also in the dark on this matter. I have inquired about this from the Aegis Department and they told me that it was sent to the Navy Commander for some recommendations in the area relevant to him. The Aegis Department officials are awaiting recommendations, he explained. Head of relevant institutions are awaiting the AG's recommendation as the CID investigation had been closely monitored by the President Maitri Pala Sirisena and Prime Minister Ranil Vikrama Singh given its potentially international security ramifications. Basil II file FR challenging legalities of his arrest. MP Basil Rajapaksa and three others accused of misuse in Divi Nagumo funds and remanded till May 20th are to file a fundamental rights petition this week challenging the legalities of their arrest. Basil Rajapaksa's lawyer attorney Udaya Rohandi Silva said the issue of whether there was sufficient evidence to keep them in remand is also in question. These matters will also be discussed in the fundamental right case, he said. Basil Rajapaksa was arrested on April 22nd by the FCID and was produced before the Kaduvela magistrate. Next, move to one more headline. Morsi sentenced to death An Egyptian court has sentenced Austrian President Mohamed Morsi to death over a mass prison break in 2011. The former leader has already been sentenced to 20 years in jail for ordering the arrest and torture of protesters during his time in power. Morsi was deposed by the military in July 2013 following mass treatment protest against its rule. Since then, the authorities have banned its Muslim Brotherhood movement and arrested thousands of its supporters. All death sentences must first be sent to the Grand Mufti Egypt's highest religious authority for his opinion on whether they should stand. Convictions are still open to appeal even if the Grand Mufti gives his approval. Morsi supporters have said that the cases against him are politically motivated and attempts to give legal cover to a coup, while Morsi has rejected the authority of the courts. One more headline, LTT Death Remembrances Banned. All events to commemorate the LTT war death are unlawful, the police authorities say. Police media spokesman SSP Ruan Gunasekara told the Sunday Observer that consequent to the Mullay Thibu magistrate banning of Tamil National People Front leader Gajendra Kumar Ponnambaram scheduled Tamil Genocide Remembrance in Mullivaikal tomorrow. All events to commemorate LTTE deaths in war would become unlawful. Next we move to the Sunday Sunday Times. Swiss bank exposed names of 40 Lankans revealed 50 million US dollars in secret accounts. 
Some 40 Sri Lankans stashed away around 50 million US dollars in secret Swiss bank accounts. According to the details made available exclusively to the Sunday Times by the US based International Consortium of Investigative Journalists. The top picture has published in the Sunday Times newspaper that President Maitripala Sirisena Wu reduces white powers through the 19th Amendment. Taking part in physical exercises along with Power and Energy Minister Champika Ranavaka as a part of the campaign to launch the National Energy Conservation Month. A large number of people took part in the event which included a race from Independent Square. The objective of the program is to promote reduction of power consumption by 10%. Next headline, Sri Lanka rejects demand by Indian fishermen. The Sri Lankan government will officially convey to India that Sri Lanka fisheries organization have rejected their Indian counterparts' demands, including access to Lankan territorial waters, a senior fisheries department official said yesterday. He said that the decision was taken after a serious consultation among local fisheries associations. Sri Lanka's position would be conveyed to Indian Fisheries Association in Chennai through the Foreign Affairs Ministry. The talks between fisheries association of the two countries were held on proposal by India Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He said fisheries association of two countries should be allowed to resolve the long-standing disputes. Next at line 20A as urgent bill CC within two weeks. The 19th Amendment provisions including the one that does away with the presentation of urgent bill will come effective only when the return of the next parliament begins after the general elections. The 19th Amendment certified on Wednesday by Speaker Chamal Rajapaksha includes the changes made during the committee stage of the debate before it was passed on April 28. Next headline, election to 335 local councils on single day, new mixed system. The government is making arrangements to hold election to all 335 local councils on a single day before the end of the year, Public Administration Minister Karu Jayasuriya said yesterday. That's headline of today newspapers. We'll meet tomorrow with more headlines. Until then, log on with Adavan News.